You know, when, when I think about governance, I, I've had the experience of running a, a reasonably sized mutual fund complex. And you, you live with the boards and the subcommittees for the funds. You live with the governing committees in the advisor. And when you think about multi-vendor, we're all in a multi-vendor world. I think some of the things that we're going to get into are some of the objectives around why certain vendors are in the picture. We're going to talk to governance around how did you select the vendors? How did you approach the decision making associated with outsourcing? And then we'll really get into the question of where does that vendor or those vendor relationships fit into the governance process? So for example, in, in my past lives, those vendor relationships rippled through the governance process into a lot of different places. There, there were the simple operations committee issues where you obviously were looking at the vendors. But then there were issues around, for example, new product. You're developing a new product. You need a vendor to support it. There are pricing considerations across the vendors. Uh, why do you have a multi-vendor environment? In some instances, it's going to be around functionality. Yeah. I've got custodian, an administrator, perhaps. Uh, in some instances, it's going to be a business strategy where I've, got, I've decided to allocate different parts of similar functional activities to do two different vendors for control or perhaps uh, fee arbitrage. Uh, and sometimes, you know, I, I've also had the experience of running a hedge fund. And I lived in a multi-prime environment. And I diversified geographically. I had a US-based prime and I had a foreign prime. There, that's from a risk management perspective to some extent. So we'll get into those issues. Why don't we start by letting the panelists introduce themselves? Hi, Guillaume Complamé. Sorry for, for being late. Uh, for a French person, it, it, it hurts because uh, you know about French punctuality, I'm sure. Um, <laughs> I'm part of Barclays Capital, part of uh, global operations, uh, where I manage uh, reference data and client identification, acting as the global CEO, uh, global risk and control, and uh, strategy and change. And uh, obviously, we'll talk more about you know the onsor the uh, offshoring program we went through. Prior to that, I work in uh, other financial institutions. Yeah, good afternoon. I'm Vishal Alwalia. I'm from UBS. Uh, I manage the Wealth Management America's uh, offshoring strategy, responsible for change the bank, run the bank initiative. I think it's a very interesting topic, although it is late. We need some more cappuccinos. <laughs> You're standing between them in cocktails. I know that. I'll make it, we all will make it exciting. So I think it will be interesting, and I'm sure my colleagues here will add value. And, uh, you know, questions. We will try to answer, but anybody, there's a lot of talent here, you know, who are capable of sitting here and doing a better job. A few of my colleagues from UBS are here, so, you know, we will encourage people, if we, you want to supplement our answers, please feel free to do that. <laughs> it's too early to ask for help. <laughs> <laughs> I, I believe in collaboration. <laughs> <laughs> I like Thank his you. approach. Uh, good afternoon, everyone. Uh, Vikas Parikh. Uh, I lead all investment trading and operations application for uh, public asset classes at G Asset Management. And, and I'm also responsible for the VMO for ITO and uh, the BPO aspect of our organization. Uh, we manage just a little bit about GE Asset Management. Uh, we manage the pension money for GE, uh, which is a prime customer. And then we have third party assets as well. It's around $120 billion, um, 500 employees. and. Uh, uh, roughly 200, 250 uh, consultants as well. Uh, but I, I play a unique role where I am running the systems and I'm managing the, managing the vendor uh, relationship as well. And then I'm also reporting into the larger General Electric vendor management organization. <coughs> so that's, that's an interesting dynamics uh, and, and get to learn a lot from, from that, that uh, organization. Thank you. Why don't we get right into it? You know, first, what we, we want to understand, motive is always important. We want to kind of walk through the panels and understand the view of the business, the operational factors that have resulted in the vendor stroke outsourcing or offshoring structure that you have today. And why don't we, we start with Vikas? So, um, you know, for, for GE uh, asset management, it's, it's, we have been doing this for over 15 years now.